DTC P0136, P0156. I'm not sure how to diagnose these two codes and how we found the problem. Oh, also got a code P0401. Forgot about that one. This car has a serious misfire to idle, an idle surge, and a rolling idle, and sometimes it stalls when it comes to a stop. Look at the short term field term is maxed out at 10%. Long term field term is zero. And not responding. Now the reason why is because this car is still in open loop. While well, short term is found on 2 is maxed out at uh, 10%. Now remember the code, we got, remember we got two codes for O2 sensor, and he's really showing me the O2 is fixed on the lane side.
I just want to see if it's in closed loop. That's all I'm looking for. Done. There's a loop status. Oh, it's open loop. Right here, it's open loop. Right here, that's why it's probably saying zero. It's still an open loop. That's why, that's why, that's why a long term field trim is still showing zero and it's fine right there. It's still an open loop. Right here, this is your loop status right here. Fuel state status, open loop, ball. Not in close loop. That's why it's not responding. Yeah, it's still an open loop. That's why it's not responding. Hey, so the water... It, we're going to put water on it? Okay, let me... So what? See, just like... Last light. No, last light. Last light. You see, you hear it drop? You hear it suck it in? Now you see how you find the vacuum when you're using water? You can hear the noise. The vacuum is actually sucking in the water. You, now, I used to use a smoke machine, but as you can see, you don't always need a smoke machine. Water will take care of it also. Lo locate a problem also. Now I'm testing, now I'm going to use propane to confirm the leak. Look at the V1S1. It says 0 0.05, which is lean. I'm going to add fuel. Watch it shoot up. If it goes up like it just did, we found the leak. It's a one way you can find a leak by using propane. Watch the short term fuel trend on the O2 sensor. I add propane. If the O2 center goes up and the short term fuel trend comes down, you found your lead. If I hit and smooth out, you found a lead. The same thing. You don't even need a scanner to do it. Let's do this. Try to smooth out, you found a lead. You know you found a lead when it smooths out. That's another way of doing it. Alright, thank you. Now we changed the EGR gasket. I look at the long term, short term fuel trim. My short term is going to be like a negative 15. And my long term is plus 23. If you do the math, I'm by 8. That's good. The computer has to relearn itself. I should see a negative on one side and a positive on the other, indicating it's a fix. You see this negative 17? You see that positive 22? I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I said negative 12 short term fuel trim and a 12 of 17 and a positive 23. This indicates a fix. When the computer relearns itself, everything should balance out. But I do the math on that, we had, we had 8 positive, which means it's fixed. So anytime you see a negative like 15 and a positive 20 something after you repair the car, that's a fix. That's, that's what you want to see to confirm it's fixed. That's the bad gasket we changed. You see that card I am much better now. Thanks for watching. Peace.